Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, C1 of Joshua here, bringing you guys another video for Tip Tuesdays. Um, sorry we didn't put one out last week. We were on vacation. I hope you can understand that. It's kind of hard to upload when you are on vacation. We were actually in Florida. Um, I'm sure a few people noticed we had it on our Skypes for about 10 days. But anyways, we're back now, and I'm here to bring you guys a quick little tip. Um, so I'm gonna, it's called the uh, Sharpen Filter in Photoshop CS6. So I'm going to actually open up an older banner that I've done from way back when. I have the uh, Project Imagine banner right here. Um, it's a little bit different filter effects than what I used to do, or what I do now. This is like, it's a lot cleaner, and it was before I had everything set up for what I do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys basically how to use the Sharpen Filter and what it does. So to start off, we're going to duplicate our layer by pressing Control and J. Click on our background layer because it's locked and delete it. And next, we're going to do. We're actually going to, for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to copy it again. We are going to name this Sharpen Tut. And so to find the Sharpen filter, you're going to go to Filter, Sharpen, and Sharpen. And you might not have noticed anything. So if I go back. I zoom in and go back. So that was before. Press Control Z again. As you can see, it it um takes off the blur of everything and gives it a more sharp effect. I mean, that's like the best way you can describe it. It's really nice to help make things look good. But if you put too much on it, like if we do sharpen, then press Control F and do it again and again and again and again. It makes everything look really nasty. So you really want to use this filter in low quantities. Maybe once on like 50 opacity. Really does help. So that's extreme sharpen. That's no sharpen, extreme sharpen, and no sharpen. It's a really simple and easy filter effect for you to use. Um, as I explained, it kind of it sharpens everything. It takes off the blur and it adds more of an edge to your background or whatever you're doing. Um, I hope this little tip helped. This has been C1 and I'm out.